Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Car Addiction. Today, first, a uh, cold start. Hey everybody, I will be giving away the car addiction window stickers to one lucky subscriber every month. So please hit the subscribe button right away. Can't go through a day without my favorite cup of coffee. Is that my phone buzzing or something? Uh, how's the car? I don't know what happened, all of a sudden something started buzzing, so, uh, anyway. Today I wanted to talk about if you need premium gas in your Infiniti. That's a highly debated question. If you put that in Google search, you're going to see millions and millions and millions of threats. So, fellas, here's the problem with the internet. An idiot can type, and somebody who actually knows what they're talking about, they can also type. It's, uh, it's super hard to differentiate who is talking from experience, knowledge, and who is just typing. So you're gonna see a lot of people saying, yes, you need premium gas, oh yeah, because you bought an Infinity, uh, because it's a premium brand, la 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 la. But nobody actually shows up with proof. Now here's what I understand with vehicles that requires premium gas. Vehicles with a higher compression motor, basically one is to 10.6 and above compression requires premium gas. Or if you have a vehicle which has a turbocharged gasoline engine, more than so likely you will require premium gas, except some exceptions. Now, I'm just going to stick to the Infiniti's VQ series motor, which Pretty much 80% of the Infiniti lineup uses some sort of a VQ motor. The VQ motor is 1 is to 10.3 compression ratio. It's not 10.6. You can argue, well, it's right there. It is right there. It's almost a high compression motor. Now, if you have the VQ 35HR, that, which that's a high compression motor, you have to use premium gas on it. But I'm not talking about the HR. So I'm, I'm talking about the VQ35 or VQ37DE, those two motors. So uh, some of you know I have a G35, all right? And I did a test for myself. I used premium gas for a month and I used regular gas for a month. Oh, my finding is on a regular gas, the motor is not as free revving as on a premium gas. These motors love to rev and uh, the power is just a little restricted and the fuel economy is not the greatest uh, first of all the g35 does not get great fuel economy anyway it gets a little worse fuel economy um, you're looking at close to 16 17 mpg whereas usually you're supposed to get 20 21 so um, having said that if you just do some economical math uh, it's better to use the premium because uh, you will recover the money with the, with the better MPG. But that's not what this argument is about. This argument is, can you use regular gas in your Infinity? The straightforward answer is most probably yes. Because if you have a VQ35 uh, or VQ40 uh, motor, a DE, VQ37 DE, you'll be just fine using a regular gas. Uh, it will give you a little less... Uh, MPG uh, horsepower will be a little less, but there will be no long-term uh, effect on the motor. Having said that, Nissan, which is the parent company of uh, Infiniti, uses VQ in a lot of vehicles. Let's say the Altima 3.5, Maxima 3.5, Nissan Quest, uh, Pathfinder, Frontier, uh, you name it. Like any six-cylinder motor from Nissan uses the same VQ. Again, if you go through the specifications, you're gonna realize that they have a little less horsepower rating because it's just a different tune. And I'm sure in Infinity, that computer can realize that 
If you're using a regular gas, the knocking number is a little different and uh, it will compensate for it. It will retard the timing a little bit more and you'll be fine. So in a nutshell, yes, you can use regular gas in your VQ series Infinity motors. If I'm wrong, I welcome you leaving your comment at the comment section. Make sure you have some proof behind it. Just don't tell me, oh, you're bought an Infinity for your premium gas. Like, don't. Anyway, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate from you guys, but let's see what you have to say. This month, I'm giving away two headlight restoration kit. So all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, like this video, and put a comment at the comment section.